90% of everything, in my opinion, in life is drive. You're going to have downtime like we've talked about. You either have a ton of pressure on you to get this done as fast as possible, or you're just sitting around waiting. Well, while you're sitting around waiting, what are you doing? Are you just surfing the internet or just messing around? Now, everybody has to have a release, you know, just to relax. But if you have free time, you're, you don't have to follow a written procedure. This is just all research and development, this for yourself. Start hitting some of those buttons. Start seeing what they do, you know. Um, I've learned several things just about tips, about uh, shooting your transducer at a higher voltage. That way you don't have to increase your gain as much. All kinds of good stuff like that you would never learn unless you were messing around with the equipment in your free time because when you're following a written procedure, it's going to say shoot it at this amount of voltage with this amount of gain, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's going to be very structured, and that's what you'll know, you know, but yeah. you're, you're not really learning anything about the equipment. You're just following procedure like you should. Read. Just read. You know, there's... Like Critique has said, there's so many websites where you can just learn more. Just go to one of the very many websites where that are devoted to NDT. Learn. Try to better yourself in your downtime. So many different options in ultrasound, and there continue to be more and more. What can this transducer do for me? If you pick the wrong one, you're, you will just go around and around in circles because you'll try to figure out what's wrong with my equipment. Everybody's first instinct, I'd say, probably is, What's wrong with this equipment? This equipment's messed up. You know, this thing's a piece of blank, <laughs> right? Most people are just going to be like, it's, this, it's the equipment, man. The, the cable must be messed up. And then they, they just give up at that. Ah, this is a bad cable. And everybody's waiting on you to do this inspection. Here comes this savior cable, right? You get the new cable, problem's still there, but now you look not too good because you didn't look into it far enough to try to figure out, is it me? You have to stay humble, but you have to be confident but not overconfident. I wasn't grown complacent in every inspection I ever did I feel confident in. Uh, there's hundreds of airplanes with my name still on it that I still have responsibility for. I've done this a hundred times before and I've never found anything before, right? Eh, never find anything on this. Let's just do this real quick and go on to the next thing. This person's dead because I felt pressured to sign this off. I didn't feel comfortable, but hey, I wanted to keep my job. Let's just say they miraculously still allow you to have that, that job. Is that job gonna console you, you know, in any shape or form? I never wanted a desk job, but I also never wanted to just kill myself out there on the floor uh, day after day where by the time I'm 50, I can't walk straight. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. This is a very good mixture of both. So it's a perfect mixture between both using your brain, being out there on the floor, but also doing uh, documentation you know, you get to sit down, you get to stand up, you get, you're thinking the whole time. It's very, it's, it's a very stimulating field.